With the water heater all boxed in, Spencer continues building out our custom closet. Having never done this before, he's just having to figure it all out as he goes. I'm excited to see what he's able to come up with. And the pressure is definitely on, considering a house is on the smaller side. It's roughly 875 square feet, and this is our only closet. <laughs> we get a lot of questions as to why we wanted a smaller house, and there's a couple main reasons. Firstly, being that our home is totally off the grid and runs solely on solar power, having a smaller home means less power is required to heat and cool it. The second big reason is because having less room means having less stuff. It's crazy how many items we've accumulated over the years, and this will force us to get rid of a lot of things. Hey, sweet boy. <laughs> Where's your brother? Hey, buddy. I love you. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you okay? okay. It is so beautiful out today. I cannot believe how much everything has popped back up. Like, I feel like overnight, after we got that last rain, everything is so green now. And the pump house roof is starting to come back. The front porch one, it does have some growth, but the pump house definitely has way more. I cannot wait for all the wildflowers to start coming back. Look at this place. It's looking good. Uh huh. It looks really weird having all this in here. It's closing in very fast. <laughs> yeah, there's not much room left. Especially like whenever you go to use the drawers. Yeah, that's all we need. Mm -hmm. So today you're getting my side done? I know I'm not going to have enough wood for at least the shelf tops, but. Um, uh, at least get all the supports and everything like that in right. and your rods in. Do you have a screw in your pocket? No. <laughs> Cause you're doing a pocket screw. Oh Tell me I'm funny. You're hilarious. 
this. <laughs> Thank you. Your words, not mine. <laughs> It really echoes in here. Yeah, it does. Well, there's no clothes. Right. That would dampen a lot of that. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it looks good. Uh, the water heater box, I knew it was going to be large. It takes up a little bit more room than I would like, but can't do much about that. Other than that, it's like it came out really good. Little OCD things I would kind of tweak, but I'm not going to go back through and do some of those. But other than that yeah it looks it came out really good the way that he did the top of this center section which is going to be some shelving and drawers how he made it come out a little bit i think that looks really nice because mm -hmm. uh, this is 18 inches uh the reason why is because the inside of this has to fit a 16 inch slide drawer i needed to accommodate for that so that's a little bit wider than the shelves and i did those shelves before i built this and had all the slides anyways mm -hmm. uh, so that's why i kept 16 inches on the shelves and then 18 inches on this but i think it kind of worked out just because it kind of gives more of a focal point to the center drawer shelving system right i'm definitely not crazy about the water heater being in here but I mean, I think you definitely made the most use out of the space, considering that's there. Right, yeah, it's not ideal, but I mean, it's what happens when you have a tiny house. Well, small house. Small house. <laughs> hey, yeah, and you got your own side. Yeah. <laughs> it's in her closet. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I wanted. So what's the next step? Next step is building the drawers and the shelves for this center of piece and baseboards, cock paint. The finishing touches. Mm -hmm. and then we'll be done with everything inside and we can finally work on it. projects outside. Perfect timing because it is now spring and it is absolutely beautiful outside. I know, I hate that we have to work in this little closet with no window. <laughs> right. You guys, I am so excited to have this closet done because since starting this project, there's just, our crap is everywhere. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> our stuff is everywhere and our room is just filled. I hate it. It's filled with crap. <laughs> I know, it's such a weird thing. Anyway. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fail.
fits like a glove. I gotta say, one thing uh, from this whole experience, building out this closet, is handmade furniture takes so much longer than I ever anticipated. Building these drawers, each one so far, granted these are my first two pairs of drawers, uh, these are my first drawers I've ever built. And one drawer took me most of yesterday. The second one, a lot faster. Well, only about a quarter to a third of the day to get the second one done. And hopefully I can get one more built today. But I can totally understand why handmade furniture is so expensive. Uh, especially good quality handmade furniture. A lot goes into it. You better work fast. It looks like a storm's coming in. Right. Um, I'm good. <laughs> The next day we were hit with a ton of rain, and although we're working on a project inside the house, the weather made it impossible to continue on with building the closet, because all the saws and tools have to be used outside. During this time, I did as much computer work as I could, while Spencer worked on drawing up some plans for a future project. got hail. You know what that means. On the bright side, our water tanks should be filling up right now. <laughs> Looking good. I'm talking about you. Oh
So Spencer just got the last little drawer in here. It's not actually installed yet because we do need to get one more slide or one short, but this is how it's going to be staying for right now. We're just gonna keep this top part open. And the plan is to put a mirror in there. And if for some reason we still feel like this isn't enough storage once we do get everything in here, we can always add shelves in the future, but this is how we're gonna keep it for now. Are you happy with it so far? Yeah, came out really good. Uh, my carpentry skills have gotten a lot better. The center with all the drawers, it kind of reminds me of like a, I don't know, like a museum index or like a, <laughs> all the nuts and bolts at a hardware store, <laughs> all the drawers. So today it's just this top shelf doesn't fit quite right. It pushes out on the sides a little bit too much. so. I gotta somehow cut that down a little bit because if I take the saw to it, uh, it's, it splinters the ends, the, the plywood. So I'm probably gonna have to tape it and hope for the best, uh, tape the ends but when I cut them. So hopefully I don't damage the, the surface of the plywood because it's, it's gorgeous the way it is. It's just, it's slightly oversized. Otherwise, if it didn't push out too much because it doesn't bother me, it's just, with the drawers on this left hand side, it gives it too much of a gap opposed to the other side. So yeah, I just wanna see that fixed. Other than that, um, we're good to go on everything else. We just gotta paint the baseboards and walls uh, and we're not gonna stain it because, well one, it's a lot of work and two, I'm actually quite happy with I know, how it, it turned, turned out, out way better than I thought. Yeah, like the, the wood is just, it's its very pretty. So I think we're gonna keep it for the time being. I mean, we always have the option in the future to stay in it. So uh, I think that's where we stand for right now. I currently have the door shut. So we don't hear the kids the whole time. This is a very small space to be working in. How many square feet do you think this is? Uh, probably five. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not big enough. That's what she said. Okay. <laughs> I seriously can't believe how good it looks. Me either. <laughs> It's gonna make it look so much bigger in here and he'll bounce some light around. I think it was a good idea. I mostly wanted to do it so I can look at my pretty face while I'm getting ready. <laughs> and what are the odds? It literally fits perfectly. Like this is a 29 inch opening and this mirror has a 28 inch diameter. Like that worked out well. <laughs> <laughs> we planned that. It looks so good. Oh my god, I'm excited. I just gotta <gasps> measure everything. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what 
is it if you break a mirror it's seven years of bad luck? We don't need that. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so weird. I can't actually see my stuff. Everything is so wrinkly. Not for a long while. <laughs> 